Welcome to the newsletter. Russia sent heavy weapons, shelled Kherson more than 50 times in two days. On Channel HT new Kherson officials confirmed the area has been repeatedly attacked by Russian troops in recent days. In a statement posted on the social network Telegram on December 10, Kirillo Tymoshenko, deputy chief of staff to the president of Ukraine, accused the Russian military of deploying many heavy weapons to carry out many attacks against targets into the Kherson region in southern Ukraine. The Russian army attacked Kherson 51 times in just two days, December 9 and 10. These raids were conducted by heavy weapons, including mortars, multiple rocket launchers and artillery of the Russian army. Russian army. Two people were killed and eight others were injured after these attacks, Mr. Tymoshenko said. According to the deputy chief of staff to the president of Ukraine, Russian shells have left heavy material damage in Kherson. A hospital, many shops, warehouses and infrastructure were severely damaged after ambushes by Russian artillery in the past two days. Russian troops withdrew from the strategic southern city of Kherson on 9-11 to preserve their forces after the supply route for pro-Moscow troops in the city was blocked by Ukraine. However, after withdrawing, the Russian army continued to conduct fire raids on the positions of Ukrainian forces in Kherson. Recently, many Western intelligence sources have shown that Kiev seems to be preparing for a large-scale attack on the left bank of the Dnieper River of the Russian army. Also on December 10, Lieutenant General Igor Konoshenkov, a spokesman for the Russian Defense Ministry, announced that pro-Russian forces in Donbass had staged several attacks, causing great damage to the Ukrainian army. According to General Konoshenkov, the Russian army has eliminated from the combat round two grad multiple rocket launches of the Ukrainian army near the Sevisk region. In the settlement of Torskoye in Donbass, an anti-aircraft radar station and TPQ-36 donated by the US to Ukraine was also destroyed. A spokesman for the Russian Defense Ministry also confirmed that pro-Moscow forces are making significant advances in the direction of the Krasny Liman offensive. Ukraine's counter-attacks in the area were thwarted. About 60 Ukrainian soldiers and foreign mercenaries were eliminated from the fighting. An infantry fighting vehicle and two armored vehicles of the Ukrainian army were also destroyed. Ukrainian authorities have not yet commented on Lieutenant General Konoshenkov's statement. However, several senior officials in Odessa, Sumy and Nikopol on December 10 confirmed that the Russian military had carried out raids on many civil and energy infrastructure in these regions. In the port city of Odessa, the entire population here is currently living without power. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel, share to support and update the latest videos from HT News Channel.